Let's uh, go to Tom Connell now. Tom, you've got some numbers in Mark McGowan's seat. Yeah, a few more. Well, this might be Labor's uh, club, 601, if you like, Kieran. Mark McGowan, of course, in the seat of Rockingham. And the early numbers, very early numbers. But look <laughs> at that vote. Up 28% so far for Mark McGowan on primary. The other thing to look at here, Pauline Hanson's One Nation Party, down 5.7%. This is going to be a story of the election. She didn't campaign. She had candidate issues as well. And a lot of those votes are expected to go back to Labor. So that uh, is telling a bit of a story. If we just put this out... Uh, well, swing to lose, of course. Is that going to happen? No. Actually, a slight swing uh, at the moment against the Liberal Party. So, um, right now, uh, we're not calling it, I wouldn't have thought, uh, but we may as well, let's be honest. So, there's the Club 601 for Labor, and we'll see just how big his margin is, perhaps on a bit of a... Uh, we're talking about Mr 88% and his popularity during the election campaign. Uh, we'll see that writ large, no doubt, in Rockingham. Burns Beach, though, well, this is going to be a more interesting seat uh, as we look at it tonight within the Perth area. Mark Falkler had a huge swing towards him last time to capture this seat. Can he keep it up? Very small amount of the vote in. Well, so far, a very strong showing, up nearly 20%. You can see his primary vote puts him, well, well north of 50%, about 65%. 5.4% is how much he's going to lose. The current swing is an astonishing 21.37. So, look, we might have to look into what's happening in the booths there, considering... How those numbers are, it is still saying too early, given just the very, very small numbers that are in there so far, but certainly starting well. As I said, he had a huge swing towards him last time, Mark Folkard, um, about 14% are in that area, so um, he needs to somehow try to keep that up. The Pilbara, though, is another really interesting seat. This is a seat that Labor did win last time with huge help from the mining lobby campaigning against the then Nationals leader. So it is not necessarily going to be an easy night, easy night for Kevin Michael here. Well, he started really well on again. Very low numbers. We're going to keep stressing that at the start, but 32% swing towards him. Would you believe that? It's a three-cornered contest, so Liberal and National parties there only on 4% or so of the vote. Look, extrapolating it out in a two-party preferred. He only needs 2.2% swing against him to lose. Well, so far it's going well in the way of Labor. Uh, we're going to get another too early to predict there. Let's just have a quick look, though, at the Liberal Party hit list as well. I know some of these might seem ambitious, uh, Albany, though, down in the south, that's where Labor have a candidate they're losing, so perhaps a chance. Uh, Burns Beach, uh, Jandicott and Joondalup. So we'll take a look at Joondalup as soon as we get some numbers on that because it's uh, Labor's most marginal seat. And, of course, state of the parties as well still don't have anything in any of the columns here just yet. Well, in fact, we do. We've got one for the Nationals column. So I'll chase that up, see what it is, Kieran.